From our number one industry, tourism officials continue to monitor the three additional cases of the Zika virus reported by the Department of Public Health yesterday. The Minister of Tourism told Arla Don Davis if it will have an impact on our number one industry and what plans are in place to keep our visitors safe. With four confirmed cases of the Zika virus recorded in the Bahamas and possibly 83 suspected cases of the mosquito-borne disease, Taiwan issued a travel advisory for its citizens. It's something that Tourism Minister the Honorable Obi Wolskum says was bound to happen once the disease hit our shores. However, he says Bahamians should not be alarmed as an increase in Zika virus cases will not pose a major threat to our tourism product. Visitors will still travel. Uh, they will still come to the destinations as we're seeing in the United States, in Florida in particular. Uh, we're also seeing in the rest of the Caribbean that they're still coming, uh, but they want to have a self-assurance. Now, don't expect to see many pregnant uh, women come because, of course, the warnings appear to be uh, directed at uh, those who are pregnant. And so we uh, take note of it, but at the same time, uh, we take nothing for granted. Wilchcomb says the ministries of tourism, health and the environment are key players in the fight to contain the Zika virus. He confirmed that an environmental health team is working around the clock carrying out additional fogging exercises across this country. While applauding the Ministry of Public Health for beefing up efforts to conduct the necessary research to treat patients who are brought in, he says his team has mapped out ways to inform visitors that the Bahamas is doing all it can to ensure that the Zika virus is under control. Generally, we're working with um, marketing. Uh, we're talking to our partners all over the world. We're talking to the airlines. We're talking to the cruise lines. Uh, we're getting the information out as best we can. Um, but, of course, uh, you have to realize that it is an issue. It's uh, an issue that uh, it's very difficult uh, in the sense that you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. You don't know what's going to happen next. You don't know where the mosquito has been. Wilchcombe noted, though, that despite the information disseminated on the Zika virus, visitors are still concerned about the mosquito population here. General traveling public understands that, uh, and because they understand that the many are not allowing the mosquito to get in the way of their travel, they're still going to travel to the places that they want to go. But when they get to the destination or before they come, they want to be assured uh, that uh, the country is not widespread with mosquitoes and mosquito bites are probable. What they want to ensure is that there is control, and the control is being um, carried out effectively by the Ministry of Health on the one hand and also the Ministry of Environment in our circumstances. LaDawn Davis, ZNS Network News.